Hey guys, and yes, we are continuing to follow that uh, fire danger that we've had with us over this past week and continuing as we head through uh, tonight and tomorrow. And really, the thing I want to get out here to you tonight is the wind and some of those strongest gusts. Those will be isolated to some of the highest mountaintops, two and 3,000 feet. You got to go way up to get some of those stronger gusts. And you can see that would be 15 to 30 miles per hour for lower elevations, 10 to 15, and humidity, 5 to 20 percent. It's that humidity, the temperatures rather, that's really really keeping that fire danger up there with plenty of 80s and also 90s. So let's get to that heat and you can see in Walnut Creek right now, mostly clear skies here across the bay and currently 92 degrees. So a lot of our inland spots right near those record setting highs. If you don't have air conditioning out in Walnut Creek or Concord, really any of our inland spots it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable here for us. We'll stay with the 80s as we head through 7 p.m. and we're dropping it down to some 70s, 8 and 9 o'clock and then some cooler 60s rolling in as as we get to later on this evening, and that's definitely going to help you out a little bit of that cooler breeze. Now we're not seeing this heat move anywhere as we head through the next three days, and that's from this area of high pressure that's just going to stay put, keeping that heat with us. So no chance of any kind of big cool down, at least for tomorrow. So that's going to start us off pretty good, I think. You know, we'll get a reprieve tomorrow morning, and if you're up early, seven or eight o'clock, I think it'll be a nice start for you down here in the South Bay. 59, mostly sunny skies, just a little bit of patchy fog near the coastline in the peninsula. Nothing we can't handle right here through the East Bay 63 San Francisco 56 and the North Bay. I have yet 58, but again, it's going to jump up and fast as we roll through tomorrow. Take a look at my South Bay temperatures and we are back. Yes, to this reality jumping right ahead to some July like temperatures 90 in Morgan Hill 89 San Jose also 90 in Cupertino right through Contra Costa Alameda counties. That's where we have our hottest weather, especially anywhere you get away from the bay. So back into Antioch, that's why we have 94. Concord 93, probably some of the most perfect weather right there in Oakland, 78 degrees looking all good. And let's bring it to the peninsula, 83 here in San Mateo and 89 in Palo Alto, San Francisco. We keep that cold ocean breeze and that's why we have 60s from the marina down to the Ingle side, but you're heading to downtown. We got some low 70s there and let's move it up to the North Bay where we do have that heat. Some low 90s through Napa, Sonoma, also Clear Lake and Ukiah. Now we are going to get some changes. It's going to be all about this system once it moves in on Saturday. So I see some cooler air with it as we head into Saturday's forecast. And then also with this, some rain and thunderstorms just to the east of us. So we're going to keep a close eye on those thunderstorms right now for us. We're not seeing that materialize just yet, but again, something to watch out for. San Francisco's highs stay in the 60s once we hit Wednesday through the rest of the week. And for the inland valleys, we're going down to 80 on Friday, and that's a lot better for us there with that cooler system on Saturday, down to 76. So Raj and Janelle, I think uh, Saturday, that's definitely going to be a lot more enjoyable for us. Again, we'll just keep an eye out for any kind of thunderstorms getting close to us. And, and tomorrow's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. <laughs> okay, keep maybe you have to turn on the AC. Okay, thanks, Thanks, Jeff.